In this lesson, you're going to learn how to import and export your emails, your calendars, and your contacts. Sometimes, for example, you may change computers or move, etc. And as you know, Outlook is not a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet, so how do you back up or save emails? You need to click on File, and once here, you'll see an Open and Export option. I'm going to select Import and Export. I'm going to export to a file, and then Next. An Outlook data file is what we refer to as a PST file. Next. Now, for example, if I wanted to back up my inbox, I'd select Inbox and include all the subfolders underneath it. Select Next. Then, where do you want to save the exported file? So at the moment, it's going to be in Documents and Outlook files, and it's going to be called Backup.pst. I often, because I back up my calendar and my contacts, would refer to this as my inbox.pst so I know which one it is and then finish okay you can put a password it's optional and okay and what it will do is it will export all of those PST files all my e emails you would do exactly the same open and export if you were to be doing your calendar for example you'd export to a file next the PST file next and I then could choose something else like my calendar or my contacts next I would change inbox to contacts and choose a file location and then it would export that file once you've done that and you have a new PC for example instead of exporting this time you'd want to import them so file again open and export import export this time you're going to import from another program or file Next, an Outlook data file. Next, and then you would find, you'd browse for that particular file. There's our PST file, and I'd click on Open. What would happen then is it would populate all the emails, etc., or calendar, or whichever one you backed up.